Okay, so next is a pretty ugly sounding title, but it's actually pretty easy. It's called the distributive property. Sometimes they call this expanding, or in class we'll probably call it fishing. And so the distributive property is pretty much where you have a situation like this. You have a number outside the brackets. And as you remember, anything where there's a number and a bracket or and there's nothing in between, you multiply. Now, so this 4 is doing the multiplying. It is multiplying each thing in the brackets. And it's like the 4 is being distributed inside the brackets. Where the fishing comes in is, it, think of it like this. Think of this 4 as like it's on land. And then the, the thing in the brackets, the y and the plus 2, are in the water. And the 4 multiplies or distributes itself into each term. Doesn't that kind of remind you of a fishing rod being cast into a lake? It does for me. Anyways, so what you do in this case is 4 times y, which is... 4y. 4 times y. We don't know what y is, so it's just 4 times y. 4y, like we did before. So it distributes to that, and then the 4 will then catch this fish, the positive 2. What is 4 times positive 2? 8. Positive 8. So you put positive 8. These two are unlike terms. You cannot simplify them any further. So that's your answer. That's it. That is the distributive property. That is expanding, or it's called fishing, whatever words that you like. Okay, over here. So the three is the fisher person, and it will go fishing and catch this x. Again, it's multiplying whenever it does this. 3 times x is just 3x. 3 times positive 3 is... 3 times positive 3 is positive 9. x's and numbers are not like terms, so nothing we can do about it. That's where we stop, and that's the answer. Alright, what about this one here? The 2 is fishing and catches the g, multiplies the g. So 2 times g is 2g. Then 2 times, remember this negative sign belongs to the 8. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. Unlike terms, nothing we can do about it, so that's your answer. Easy, isn't it? Okay, for this one, a little bit switched around. Instead, you get the number in front and the letter. Still, no big deal. Don't freak out. This 4 is going fishing. It's going to multiply the 8. 4 times 8 is 32. And then this 4 is going to catch the positive W. What is 4 times W? 4 times positive W, if you want. It's just 4W. That's it. Easy, isn't it? I know some of you are probably thinking, what? 4 times W is 4W? We talked about that earlier on in the algebra language um, video about what that actually means. Okay, let's take a look at some trickier ones here. You know what? It was going to get a little bit trickier. Here, negative 7. This negative 7 is multiplying everything in the brackets. So the negative 7 multiplies the h. Negative 7 times h is negative 7h. And then negative 7 times 4, negative 7 times positive 4. Hopefully you remember from your or integer skills, signs are different. Negative and a positive, so it's negative 7 times 4, 28. That's it. Okay, now, this fisherman is going to catch three different fish. 
again, don't freak out. It's just you'll have three different fish. So that means you're going to have three different things written here, three different terms. So the 6 is going to catch the 2x. Now, what is 6 times 2x? In this case, you multiply the numbers. 6 times 2, which is 12x. So it, this gives you 12x. The 6 then multiplies the next thing, the 4y. 6 times 4 is 24, positive 24. Y. And here, 6 times negative 2, signs are different, negative, negative 12. Okay, so uh, the X's and Y's numbers are different, you cannot simplify them, so that's your final answer. Alright, what about something like this? Okay, so this 3 is the fisherman, and again, it's catching the x and the positive 2. They are in the water. Is the 3x in the water? No, it's on land. So here's how we'll handle this. The 3 times the x is 3x. The 3 times the positive 2 is positive 6. What do you think we do with a 3x? Is the 3 going to multiply it? No, it's not. It's on land. So what we do is we just simply bring down the 3x, the positive 3x. Now, here, we check and we see we have like terms, an x and an x. Two like terms. And just like we did from the last video, collecting like terms, we collect them together. 3x plus 3x is 6x. There's only one 6 left over. These are unlike terms. That's as far as you can go. The answer is 6x plus 6. Alright. What about this one? Same sort of deal. Again, yeah, they get, they'll get longer. But as long as you stick to the script, stick to the method, and do everything exactly, neatly, writing everything down, you shouldn't have any problem at all, even with questions like this. Okay, so you've got this fishing situation and this fishing situation. Four times x. Let's do this one first. Four times x is four x. And four times negative three is negative twelve. Now, this brings us to this negative sign. Who does it belong to? It actually belongs to this five. There's two ways to, to do this. The easiest way is to treat this minus sign like a negative sign with this 5. So actually this 5 isn't just fishing by itself, it's fishing with the negative 5. So it's negative 5 times 2. What is negative 5 times 2? Signs are different, so it's negative 5 times 2 is 10. Then the negative 5 will fish with this x. Negative 5 times x. Signs are different, so it's negative 5 times x. 5x. Now, and you always do this after you've done some math operation. Check to see if you can simplify it, if you can do circles and squares. Um, I have an x here, I have an x there. Let's put circles around them. x, x. Don't forget when you put a circle or a square around it, you include the sign in front of it. 4 minus 5. You have 4, you lose 5. You're down 1x. Now, do you remember what you do with the 1s? You don't have to put them in. You can put them in if you want, but the cooler way to show it is not to have the 1. Let's just call it negative x. And then what are you left with? Two numbers. Well, let's put squares around them. You're down 12. You're down 10. You're down 22. So this one is going to be 
because we not, cannot simplify it any further, negative x minus 22. That's as far as we can go. All right. How about this one? This one's beautiful. This combines pretty much the last three lessons all in one. It says simplify, then evaluate if x is 2 and y is equal to 3. So what you're going to do here is do the same old stuff you've been doing before. You're going to take this 5, and it's going to fish the 2x. 5 times 2x is 10x. Then we're going to go 5 times this y. 5 times y is 5y. And then the 5 will fish with this negative 3. 5 times, neg ne times negative 3 is negative 15. So now you've expanded. I guess this question should have been called expand, simplify, then evaluate. We just expanded. We did the fishing first. First step, get rid of the brackets. That's what we just did. We fished it out. Next, check if you can simplify. Meaning, do we have any like terms? And we don't. X's, Y's, numbers. Can't simplify this any further. Remember back when we did evaluating or substitution? We can get a number because we're told that X is 2, Y is 3. When you're substituting, if you remember, I'd always want you to, the number that you're substituting, you always put it in brackets. So the way we're going to do this is the 10, multiply it by x, who we're going to sub in a 2 for. That's what the question told us to do. Wherever you see an x, put a 2. Wherever you see an x, put a 2, and brackets around it. The plus sign, the 5, the y, we're going to sub in a 3. So wherever you see a y, we'll put a 3, with brackets around it, minus 15. Now just a good old bed mass question. 10 times 2 is 20, plus 5 times 3 minus 15. Next step, 20 plus 5 times 3, which is 15, minus 15. Now we go left to right. 20 plus 15 is 35, minus 15. 35 minus 15 is 20. That's your final answer. Okay, so I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, it started off pretty easy, then it got a little bit ugly. Um, well, yeah, sorry, I guess it does. Here are your skill testing questions, only four of them. So that one's pretty easy. Um, it gets a little bit harder. Just remember here that the negative two is multiplying each term. Watch the signs here, I'll give you a little hint. That's an L, by the way. Um, we did a question like that above, and then this is almost very similar to the last question we did in the example. There you go. Bye. Bye.